Aftar from Hyper Malaya Soalan tu ada tu Tadi coach ada mention about uh, Six months punya Liga Tapi uh, nak tanya Adakah pasukan-pasukan di Malaysia Currently uh, bersedia untuk menghadapi tu Sebab sebelum ni dekat LWM pun Ada yang buat uh, yang buat aduan yang Ada bayaran gaji tak sampai And main dengan 11 orang Adakah untuk 6 bulan tu Pasukan-pasukan ni dah bersedia dari segi tu lah Um, kita uh, terima kasih nak soalan yang sangat uh, menarik dan memang cepu maslah untuk mal- untuk pagi ini. Um, kita tidak akan dapat lakukan kalau kita nak tunggu semuanya bersedia. Uh, we have been waiting and waiting and because of waiting we are falling back than other countries. To be honest, um, we know we were short-handed. We know with all the weaknesses, yet we launched it this year. You know, everybody was complaining about the the structure and everything. I said, if we didn't start, we do not know our weaknesses. So we have no, we have um, made known about the weaknesses. So we are going to overcome it for next year. We are planning it with Solin, with the help of Solin. Of course, Solin wants to have to have a perfect um, a structure so that um, it is um, as required by FIFA. Uh, but um, the strongest of or, or the, the the challenge is. For the state, the FAs, the FAs, all the clubs ready to come in. It will be very expensive. It will be very challenging. But I believe this is a start. This is the time. Depending on GS, GS Man sendiri untuk membantu bersama dengan semua setiausaha-setiausaha uh, kehormat di FAs masing-masing. Uh, they are not in the clubs. They are in the FAs. Women unit ni. Yeah, and uh, because of that, there's challenges. It, but if they are in FCs also, they will say different challenges, pula. Yeah, so um, yes, it'll be challenges. But we're gonna do a meeting with um, state FAs next week. Yes. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna problemnya dia kata uh, tak pernah ada structure yang tunjukkan kepada mereka uh, terlalu lambat, uh, too short notice. Yeah, but this time we're gonna give to them. This is it. Um, I I believe uh, we can if we drive uh, the right way. So this is us driving it with with Dato Amidin uh, really into this. I would like to thank Dato Amidin and GS and the whole Exco for always uh, supporting me. There were challenges yet. You know, dulu kita tak nak ambil uh, foreigner. Now I said, you know, we have to take foreigner no matter what, um, and we have to take a woman head coach. If we want to start, semua FAs ada juga women coach di, di tempat masing-masing. You know, we have to start. If we want to have a, a team manager perempuan, we need to have the team manager perempuan. So, th- we are doing, setting example for other FAs to follow. If we didn't do it, nobody would follow. So, with that league, we would like the states to do the, the league as well in their states. A simple league, so that they can have more girls playing on the ground, no matter what ages, yes. Uh, so then the ball will start rolling. I believe it is difficult, yet we need to start it. The challenges, yes, please. Okay, uh, saya sebelum saya di sini ucapkan terima kasih kepada presiden yang telah bawa uh, solid hmm. eh, atau usaha di sini dan betul uh, presiden lepas tu orang yang betul betul bekerja kuat siang malam. <coughs> Banyak orang tak tahu Dia punya nak memperkasakan wanita ni Saya rasa lama dah Tapi nampak kali ni dia lain sikit YB YB punya semangat dia lain Jadi Saya nampak Saya minta media dapat support uh, YB ya, Dengan uh, Solid untuk uh, Fina Employment of women Memper, Memperkasakan wanita uh, Even uh, saya tengok kali ni eh, Saya tengok kali ni dengan structure yang dibentang oleh Solid Saya, saya yakin Dengan ada Liga Wanita Nasional dia, Kita nak perbaiki balik dan lepas tu dengan uh, PTS, uh, PTSR Dan lepas tu kita pula uh, Akan bersama dengan kementerian Untuk melahirkan lebih ramai lagi Jualatia-jualatia wanita Ya Lepas tu lesen ni Naik uh, Naik di Lepas tu kita akan pergi Kita dah start buat Bukan mulut kita Bukan kita bercakap Kita dah start buat kita dah start buat dengan kementerian That's why kita mesyuarat dengan kementerian Minta kalau boleh diadakan uh, uh, 
Masuk ke uh, Johanan wanita Dan lepas tu Andrew pun dah bergerak Dia dah 14 negeri Dan lepas tu next week kita ada mesyuarat dengan Siti Usia-Siti Usia Persatuan Negeri Untuk kita uh, bentangkan kita punya ni Dan minta penglibatan daripada persatuan-persatuan negeri Untuk sama-sama membantu uh, Untuk kita memertabatkan uh, Pada sepak wanita ni ke arah yang lebih tinggi eh? Itu saya, akhir sekali saya nampak orang yang banyak di belakang tapi ni, sekarang ni dia dah tak boleh lagi dah, dia sekarang banyak Memang kerja keras siang malam, hari-hari tengok tidur pun lebih bermimpi juga lah ha, Memang dia, untuk nak memperkasakan pula sebab wanita ni lebih suai ha, Dia orang yang ni lah, ha, saya nampak Struktur ni dia datang dengan soalan dia more, more strong ya, YB more strong, tapi satu sama-sama kita boleh suka media lah, para Bantu uh, YB untuk kita uh, highlight kan, untuk kita war-warkan Untuk penyertaan akan datang Betul habis. Boleh boleh. Boleh saya. Ya, okey. Last question from me. Um, I think this question should be directed to either um, the general secretary or the treasurer yourself. There seems to be a lot on Celine's plate. Yep. Will she be assured of having a free hand in running all of her programs with zero interference from either the committee? Oh, from third parties outside. Okay, okay. Thank you. Saya tak nampak itu. Saya tak nampak ada penyebatan saya. Sebab kita memang give segala-galanya pada sorry untuk dia merancang, menstruktur untuk memudah wanita kita. Dan lepas tu, dan lepas tu dia dapat pula pengurus yang aktif, agresif. Bagi saya, saya rasa tak ada masalah. Dengan presiden lagi, dengan saya rasa. Memang tak, tak adalah memang kita give full hand kepada 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 solid untuk dia merancang dia menstruktur untuk untuk apa untuk uh, pembangunan wanita. Eh? Okay, one last question before we close. Terima kasih. Abid Abdul Jabbar di report flash sukar untuk Liga Wanita Kebangsaan uh, kita ada mirror dengan mana mana Liga Profesional Wanita lain di dunia ni atau di Southeast Asia. Uh, dan satu lagi, adakah pemain-pemain akan bertaraf profesional atau semi-pro? Sekarang ni kita punya Liga Wanita kan Dia belum semi-pro lagi, dia banyak amateur yeah. Itu yang uh, soalan daripada Harimau, Harimau apa, Kota Harimau Melayu tadi Itu yang kita dapat kekangan dari situ Sebab Wabi Surah kata tadi Kalau kita tak start sekarang, bila kita nak start? Tapi memanglah kita punya apa-apa Liga pun dia akan start daripada amateur dulu Amateur, dia patut kita naik Kalau kita dah nampak benda tu, struktur tu dah betul Dah nampak dah okey, dah ada komitmen daripada pasukan-pasukan Dan kita nampak benda tu nampak strong Dan lepas tu mungkin kita YB bincang balik kan akan naik Semi pro kan Biasa Pak kata Solin dia nak jadi Liga Malita National ni setarap dengan Liga Super Itu saja eh? uh, Last tu, GS atau Datuk Suraya Boleh kita tahu tak uh, kontrak uh, coach berapa lama And then apa KPI itu dia? <laughs> Ini lah. <laughs> Selagi dia ada, dia ada kontrak ya. <laughs> <laughs> How long is your contract? <laughs> okay, PNC lah. Eh? Yeah. Eh, mesti lah untuk tak kena. Ha, eh? Oh, tak ada. Belum lagi. Kita start dulu ni. Kita start dulu nampak. Next year mana nampak? Next year you nampak. Awal lagi. Can I do the closing? Uh, saya nak ucapkan terima kasih kepada pihak media kerana sudi hadir pada pagi ini dan uh, saya juga nak rakamkan ucapan terima kasih yang tidak tinggal kepada Datuk Selaku Presiden FAM, uh, GS, Cik Azman dan seluruh uh, Datuk Kuasa Esko FAM uh, dan juga uh, pembangunan bola sepak wanita ini untuk Malaysia kita mempunyai potensi yang sungguh besar We have big potential, poten potential for, for for development and for achieving results in Southeast Asia. Um, we have put in a good structure. We have the sports school, we have good um, um, FAM itself being the, the best uh, association to handle uh, a, a sport. Um, the only thing that we are bearing now is our culture, our religion and the people's perception. And I believe media can play a good role in doing 
better positioning women football in Malaysia. Um, I, I believe uh, we are capable because of women empowerment. If we can do it in rugby, we can do it in, in weightlifting, we can do it in hockey. Women hockey is the best. We can do it in women football. There's nothing preparing women to achieve in Malaysia. And football is the one that we need to show that there's no um, there's no um, a, a barrier for women to choose any sport. Having girls playing football in any place that they want, in any in any place in any age that they want, would mean that Malaysia has come to a different level of uh, sportsmanship. Building sports nation will come with football. I choose football because I believe this is it. This is it for women in Malaysia women. If we can do it, put it into into place that they are able to choose to play football. Currently, what we have problem, the girls will say, hey, do you want to play football? The mom will say no. There no, there's no coaches to, to teach her. There's no place in school for, for her to play. But like right now, what we want to make it happen, they can play. If they choose to play football, they can have a place to play. They have a coach to play with. They have friends to play with, even boys. And we need to achieve this in Malaysia. If once we, did, we achieve that, I believe it will be no barrier for any woman to achieve anywhere in the level. I believe we can reach Olympic or world with women football in Malaysia. It's only. <laughs> okay? Uh, media would help us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Oh.